Hey guys, what's up? Shekhar Suman here from Biotechnica and this video I'm making in response to an email which I have received uh, two days back. So this email is from one of my students, um, student, she's in Drona batch right now and she's preparing for her CSI net from a hostel. Okay, so I thought, okay, a lot of you were preparing for your hostel while you're still studying. So why not make this video for everybody? And of course, she will always know because I made this video for her. So yeah, uh, the question which she uh, mentioned here is, thank you, sir, for conducting motivational sessions for Drona Batch. Due to being overloaded with studies um, and bachelor's project, uh, it's getting quite hard to handle, um, you know, CSI net along with uh, the studies. And this motivation session helped her a lot. So she mentions that, she wakes up at around 5 o'clock and then uh, she studies and then uh, she gets ready, goes to the college from the hostel and then comes back around 5 o'clock and then the, the schedule continues. So she wants me to give her advice on the timetable. So this is a generalized advice for everybody, whoever is preparing for CSI net or any competitive exam while you are still studying and you are in a hostel, right? So, uh, you know, if you ask me, I have spent four years in a hostel and I know uh, hostel life is one of the best lives you live in your entire life, actually. It's the best part of your life. So, but there are three variable components which you have to remember in the hostel life. One is friends, another is schedule, and the third part is health, okay? So, you have schedule, which will be always be fixed most of the time because college authorities will be always like nine o'clock, the class starts, five o'clock it ends, you know, breakfast comes at uh, eight o'clock, stuff like that. So th that is a schedule, but you have to squeeze your timetable in between these to prepare for the exam, right? Now coming to the next part, which is friends. Friends will always be there. Hindi mein kehte hain ki, dost bigarta bhi hai aur banata bhi hai. If you have the right friend, he will guide you. If you have the wrong friend, he will distract you. Okay, so friendship is a very important factor here. And the third is your own, you know, uh, so we have this, I think, if I say uh, the schedule which you have, the health, you have the timetable of the college authorities and the friends, but the most important thing here is the health because most of the colleges in our country are notorious to give not so good nutritious food. Okay, so most of the people fall sick faster in hostel or, you know, spreads faster like communicable disease like cold, cough, it spreads faster. So that is where health is very important. Okay, so... I think I can give you a formula for this and I call this formula as BMCH, which is books, media, code, health, okay? So if you are studying in a college hostel, you are preparing for CSI net or any competitive exam, you have to follow the BMCH formula. So, okay, you have to, ha you have to surround yourself with the right books, okay? You have to watch the right kind of videos, which is media. You have to use the right kind of softwares to create your timetable and design your timetable. And of course, um, H is health, right? So coming to the college authorities, they'll have fixed schedule, right? So the best way, if you can do that, is morning if you wake up at four o'clock, that's the best time to study. Not because you have a habit of waking up early, but because most of the you know, uh, khurafat or the masti happens in the hostels in the late night. So most of the students will be sleeping around four o'clock, okay? So if you start studying at four o'clock, you can squeeze through two hours from four to six o'clock. And then you start getting ready at six or seven, whatever. And then, so basically you can, you, you have to live like a CEO, okay? So wake up in the morning, four o'clock, study till seven. So these three hours, nobody can snatch away from you. And that, those can be the golden hours for preparation. Now, 7 o'clock, you can just get started with your getting ready for the, uh, you know, college and uh, going and taking your breakfast. Now, while you're taking your breakfast, you can always carry some kind of revision notes, which you can always go through, or maybe on the phone, you can scroll. And then once you're in college, okay, college, let the studies be half an hour or one hour. I'm sure you must be getting lunch break. So that is where you can do the revision part. So morning, whatever you studied, revise in the college and then start a new topic in the evening. Okay. Now, one thing you will realize is here you will not get time to do exercise but you have to do 30 minutes exercise 30 minutes of stretching is a must and 
you know taking nutritious food is a must so how do you take nutritious nutritious food is like i cannot uh, prescribe your dietitian prescription but what i can suggest to you what i used to do is get your blood test done find out what all things are lacking and find out which fruits or which things will replenish that and start fixing that because that's something which your college cannot do you will have to do okay now coming to the next aspect okay so you have taken care of the, your health morning you studied 3 hours evening you can study again 3 hours which is the time in between 6 to 9 6 to 9 or 7 to 10 you can always study and then you can you can go to bed i think 10 o'clock if you go to bed you can easily wake up at 4 o'clock which i do and uh, it's it works like a charm for me and now coming to the fact that you are taking care of your books so have the right set of books watch the right kind of videos media use the right kind of software like you should use the uh, app called stay free so that you can you know calculate which app is wasting your time and remove that app and then uh, health so get your blood test done find out what is missing and start taking those fruits so bmch formula you have to follow in your hostel have right friends okay not those kind of friends who will uh, distract you who will ask you to let's go for a movie because uh is it's a college life see people will tell you this that it's college life let's enjoy but college life is the life where you actually you, where you can build greater things and grander things i'll give you example by the time i passed out of my bachelor's i had two choices go for a job or you know continue with biotechnica i chose the latter which was continuing with biotechnica because i felt this is my passion so if you are able to find your passion while you are still in bachelors and studies can be your passion imagine where you can get to okay start early reach early while others are still enjoying that movie right you have whole life to watch netflix okay you have whole life to watch amazon prime but you don't have you won't get these golden years to prepare early remember a fast bowler has to you know take a run up which is longer right the same way if if it is a uh, you know supersonic flight then they need a longer runway right so if you have to take a big leap in your career you need the longer runway and this is the extension of that so don't waste your life with those friends who will say okay let's go chalta hai attitude and let's have some fun fun will always be there you can always live life in between the lines in between the work you can always live your life so don't worry i i am enjoying my life making this video for you same way you will enjoy your life if you make your passion as your profession okay so with these thoughts i will end this video thank you so much don't feel that you are underprivileged because you are in a hostel you are in the best place for this particular exam all the best